damn, Juzu is so OP. Please nerf a bloody nerd again. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga nerd again live reaction video is going to be for Yuku Holder chapter 161. And oh my god, so last chapter we saw um UQ holders number five and number three, aka Juzu and um and Sept go into into battle and holy fuck they are OP as shit. Oh my god, freaking Juzo just needs to be nerfed like a motherfucker. Anyway, um, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Approximately 800 years ago, um, oh man, this really sticks in my crawl. Come on, Pratt, get up, you little you little thief. Hey guys, give it a rest. Ah. Uh? What is wrong with you ganging up on a kid? You'll kill him. And this chapter is titled The Limit of His Strength. And who are you? The kid's dad? No, I don't remember ba <laughs> ever making babies. This brat tried to steal our loot. Pff, whatever, this works just fine. Leave all your valuables and go. Then we might be, uh, then we might be uh, willing to let this insult slide. No, I wouldn't do this if I were you. Uh, surround him then. Whew, I did that back of the blade thing. You'll be fine. But it'll probably hurt for a while. Hmm? Oh, what? Will you teach me? Teach me how to use a sword? Huh? So, kid, why a sword of all things? If you're weak, this world is hell. That's why. Uh, that's why. Yeah, but, hmm. I'm not good with a sword. Um, watch this. Uh, an iron hoe? What? No, 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 no. You just sliced through iron like it was nothing with a, that beat up blade. The only people I know who can do that are the yokai exterminator, exterminator's corpse at the capital. Oh my god, warning, silly shit. The only people I know who could do that are the yokai exterminators at the capital. 32 years. What? I had nothing else to do, so I picked up a blade and kept swinging it for 32 years. I finally got to where I could do this, but that's all I can, uh, I can do. I'm still at the mercy of bandits like them. I have no talent. Uh, I don't know about that. I heard that the yokai exterminators at the capital can cut um, iron as young as 10. Hmm. But 32 years? You don't look that old. I swallowed some weird pill um, my drunk old dad brought home one day and it made me like this. I don't age. I don't grow. I can't build any muscle. If I stay in one place for too long, people start to get scared of me. I had nothing to do but hide in the mountains and swing a sword. Please, I want to be strong. You're an awkward kid. Okay, I'll teach you. And I'll hang out with you for a while. What you swallow is probably an elixir of life. Um, different kinds have different effects, but if you give it some time, you should get a little taller. And when you do, you'll uh, you'll be able to live on your own. So, what's your name, kid? I'm Juzu Shishimi. Oh, to think you just kept swinging that sword over and over and over all this time. And now you can even slice through Karen's curse. I know, don't be a smug. I really got to hand it to you. Um, that stubbornness is something else. Um... Karen, it's possible that, um, it's possible that this guy could actually kill you, but, well, that's gonna have to wait. Ooh, it won't work. What? He even cut through Jinbei's switcheroo? Man, are you even for real? Seriously, this guy is just fucking the rules, I swear. The rules got fucked, like, uh, um, 50 days to sun, 50 ways to Sunday fucked. Ha. Huh. Simultaneous. <gasps> Release X9! Ooh! Invincibility 2.8... Uh, oh, wait, seconds. Immune to all attacks. Oh, my God. Did he... He just cut out his invincibility. Wow. Girl, still no good. Okay, fine, then. Guess it's time to suck it up and get to work. Off you go. Jinbei-san. Master... Uh, what happened? Jinbei-san sent us here. Uh, Karen-senpai... I'm all right. My limbs will reattach. I can still fight. Um, Kuromaru, Gingoro, can you hear me? Chimisan, I hear you. Sorry, but I'm going to have to let you guys handle Sh Shichijuro. I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, he's not as bad as Juzo, at least. Wait, Master, listen up. The thing about Shichijuro, he's actually a high-level um, light spirit. What? And a super fish and a super special one. He's the most um, prized masterpiece of that pure blood Baal, and an artificially made a high level uh, light spirit. That's Set uh, Shichijuro Nano. He's kind of like you, Santa, the masterpiece of the genius necromancer um, Sayoko Minase. A light? Yes, literally. Frankly, he'll be tough to beat. But if you, but if I know you four, you can work it out probably. But Master, what about you? I'm counting on you. Karen Senpai, are you okay? Yes, just a little surprised. What about you, Santa? Yeah, I feel like he wore down all my HP, but I'm recovering now. Wow, you're right. You're kind of faded. Anyway, uh, put some clothes on you two. Urgh. 
Um, have you finished your strategy meeting my two, my dear junior numbers? It's unfortunate that we had to meet this way. Pals between immorals do tend to be rather lengthy, uh, be rather lengthy. But let's end this one um, as quickly as possible. Kingoro Senpai, if he's a high-level light spear, I know what you're thinking, Kuromaru Kun, and you're right. But there is a way to fight him. Wait for him to uh, materialize. He can't fire any heavy attacks in spirit form if we uh, attack him in waves. Ooh, jeez. Why I didn't see? Uh, so he really moves at the speed of really. So he really moves at the speed of light. He becomes light itself. Oh my god. Uh, Kuro, and he's not as bad as the other guy. This must must be some kind of joke, especially since uh, uh, um, he's <laughs> Kuzo is, is lower ranked. If we weren't immoral, that would have wiped us all out. From what I've heard, he's another one of the strongest fighters out there. The two most powerful UQ holder numbers have turned against us. Yeah, they have, and that is not good. Um, Basako kun uh, Iku Ikusama, Jimmy Sama has already evacuated the building. What about you? Well, I can technically fight, so I've been helping wipe out, out the lower, uh, low level summon demons uh, while we kept keep a lookout for their second wave. Got it. What? Jimmy san is fighting Juzo san all by himself? Yes, he sent Karen sama and three others to, uh, to the fight against uh, Shichijuro sama. But, but will he be okay? Juzo san's strength is beyond normal. I mean, Jimmy san's tough too. But if he, uh, his head gets smashed, he's dead. And Juzo san is better with the sword. Does he even stand a chance? Well, take your sword, Jimbei. Thanks. I'll pass. Oh. I gave my sword after the ma um gave up I gave up my sword after the Meiji restoration. Then I went over to the continent and picked up Kempo and stuff. So these days I prefer to fight unarmed. It just feels right. That's uh, that's hard uh, king on the iron that's hard king on the iron arm technique. After everything you've seen, you can't think you um you think you can fight me with that? Yeah, he could fight me straight up fist fisty cuffs, my bro. I mean, come on, you could cut through anything, right? So I block you with a sword, and you'd cut right through it. I'm wasting energy just holding it. And you weren't really all, uh, going all out against those kids, were you? I'm sure it'll, it'll be good experience for them. Even under the enemy's control, you still care about your juniors. What a great guy! What utter rubbish! Relax, I'm not gonna hold back. Good. Woo! Ooh, shit! Jimmy, you bought my sword? How on earth? I sure did, Juzo. Woo! It's true that Juzo-sama has earned his reputation for being the strongest. He doesn't belong to any school of martial arts, so he hasn't been awarded any titles, but his skill with the sword is an elite of all its own. I once had the honor of uh, witnessing him single-handedly uh, vanquishing a giant dragon so uh, so cataclysmic that it drove back the entire... Uh, Megalo, um, uh, Zemrian army. It was an awesome sight. He can fight individual groups, legions, massive beasts, a one-man army with the, with perfect offense and defense. He was like a human fortress, the very picture of ultimate strength. Uh, what? He's that powerful? But on the other hand, I've never seen Jimmy sama reach the limits of his strength. What? That's a spatial tear. Uh, that's a spatial tear. Oh, you noticed? I just figured not even you can cut something that's already been cut. Woo, Jimmy, my man. I see. It's an application of switcheroo. His inexplicable um, ability, ability to manipulate space. He's constantly um, se uh, se severing the space in front of us, uh, in front of his arms, using a perpetual switcheroo. Then my blade finds its target already uh, cut and gets confused. In that case, we'll have a simple contest of skill. Yours versus mine. And here is mine. Take this, Jimbei. Sh um, Shishimi school self-taught technique. Godlike strength. Whoa. Damn, as usual, your sword's not just sharp. It packs a real punch, too. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Oh, man, the rules are getting screwed. There's one way I can win this. If I can get close to him. Eee, what? What? Is that Jimmy san mm, There is nothing my blade can't cut. <gasps> you big dummy. Point blank. Uh, you fell right into my. You fell right into my trap. Point blank switcheroo. Woo! Ha <laughs> We're both immortal. The battle's no fun without at least this much carnage, right, Chuzo? Ha! So you're finally ready to stop holding back, Jimmy? <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Definitely best fight I've seen today. Holy shit, this... Oh, God. Akamatsu. Uh, man, Akamatsu just really likes fucking over the rules. <laughs> anyway, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. This chapter was epic as hell. Um, I can't wait 
for the rest of this fight. But also, we got the, we're got we fighting light and a... We're fight, it's a light and a blade we're fighting here. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Yuku Holder uh, content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could join into my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All it's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!